I was always a pretty good liar. And I think that stood me in good stead as a storyteller. I always make up stories. When I was a kid uh, growing up, uh, my mother and my brother and I didn't have a whole heck of a lot. And so I would make up stories, uh, probably to make myself feel better, probably to try to create a world in which I was the hero. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would make up these stories just for no good reason, except that I'd come up with an idea for a story. And so away I'd go. Would you tell, would you tell them to your brother? uh, Sometimes, but mostly I told them to strangers who didn't know me. What sort of, what sort of strangers? Well, for, for example, I mean, this is as I'm, this happened when I was a grown man, I was at uh, South Shore Lake Tahoe. And I was working as a a craps dealer at uh, one of the clubs there just after I turned 21. And I hitchhike home. And for whatever reason, these two guys picked me up and they asked me, you know, what I did before I even opened my mouth. And I decided I was a Greek race car driver. (laughs) And so I I put on a Greek accent and uh, I told them, you know, well, you know, I I drive race cars in, in, in Greece. And, uh, and here I am, six foot six, 220 pounds. There's no way in hell I'm a race car driver of any sort. Those guys aren't that big. But all the way into the valley, I regaled these guys with stories that I made up on the spot about driving race cars around Athens. And did they believe you? You know, I don't know if they did or not, but they never called me on it. It was better than listening to the radio, probably. Okay, so did you ever get caught out when you were telling um I'll call them stories. Stories. Uh, Yeah, probably, but I've put those out of my mind at this point. Uh, Yeah, actually, I I did. Actually, (laughs) Uh, I'd have a date or so where I tell this fantastic story to to make myself look better, and I got called on that a couple of times. Oh, oh. So the the discipline. And the prep when you're sitting down to write a book, do you, do you, is it so many hours a day or is it so many pages a day? I, I have no discipline. I have no preparation. I, I feel like writing. I sit down and write. I don't feel like writing. I go off and have a coffee or lie down in bed or something. Uh, I don't have any kind of uh, 10 pages a day. I think Stephen King writes a certain number of pages a day every day. I don't do that. Uh, I can go for two weeks without writing, then I come back and I'll just write like crazy. Uh, it's very haphazard. But you must be motivated to finish. I, I am, and I, I never give up on a project uh, for the most part. I don't have you know, 10 or 20 projects in my drawer that I wasn't mm-hmm. able to finish. I normally try to push through and, and finish everything I start. I'm not particularly disciplined either, and I do th- throw things out and I don't finish them. Uh, so this is no help whatsoever. So <laughs> what? Was this your question? We're not being very helpful. <laughs> this was your yeah. question, Mark? <laughs> no, no, it was somebody Somebody sent in this question. The thing is, neither of us ever went to creative writing school. No. Uh, because no. as far as I know, they didn't exist because uh, we're so old. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> Thank you but I, I, think, I think if you did... Well, I'm older than you, so... so yeah, but not so, by so much. There. Well, by quite a lot, actually. How old are you? I'm 80. I'm 77. Well, a mere child. Ah. Eh. 